So everything that we see around us is, is, uh, is related to us. It's our family, it's our kin. Country isn't just what you can see, it's things you can't see as well. And we're a part of that. So all people resident on country, whether they're Darnbal or not, have a value here. And with that, it isn't just about rights, it's about responsibilities, our obligations to it. What makes us so special here in the Capricorn Coast is that we have two tamras that sit within, within inside each other. We have the Darnbal tamra, and then we have the Wapabara tamra. A tamra is an acronym for traditional use of marine resource agreements. And it's an agreement between the traditional owners and their partners. We are today on Durrambul country and I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians, the elders and the countrymen. The turtle holds a cultural significance for our people. It's been our cultural responsibility to protect and look after Tangoi. The children from Team Turtle continue their aspirations and their joy for protecting Tangoi, as it has for our people been passed through our generations. So too will those little ones grow up and share to their children the same love of caring for Tangoi. It's very important for us to uh, look after, take care of the little fellas. So as a Wapabara descendant, I say thank you. Central Queensland is home to six of the world's seven marine turtle species. Three of these species nest on our beaches. From October to December, mother turtles use our beaches to lay eggs. Then from December to March, hundreds of hatchlings erupt from these nests to make their way to the ocean to start their lives. Sadly, all the marine turtle species in Australian waters are facing serious threat to their survival. That means, without help, they could disappear forever. Of every thousand hatchlings, only one will survive to adulthood. There is still hope for these amazing animals, but we need your help. Many bright lights from streets and homes create a glow. This glow is a big problem for turtles who are most active at night. If beaches are too bright, turtles might leave to find a darker one to lay their eggs, which wastes precious energy. The glow can confuse turtles and hatchlings. Instead of heading towards the ocean, they can head towards towns and homes where the glow is coming from. This can be dangerous as turtles need the ocean to survive. Here are some simple things you can do to lower the glow. Turn off the lights you don't need. In the room where you need light, shut your curtains. By turning off lights that you don't need and shutting your curtains, you can help lower the glow and help turtles find the ocean. And most importantly, spread the word. If we all start making these little changes, we'll have a big difference. Remember, turtles are about, so lights out.